we had goal one, we added a couple of performance objectives to address the academic achievement goal on the district improvement plan, specifically involving um, the lesson design, how teachers are designing their lessons, also the implementation of our writing initiatives, <coughs> our data analysis protocols that we're aligning to our state accountability standards. We've added performance objectives about adopting the research-based instructional strategies and a framework for that, as well as high-quality instruction materials. And then we also made sure we kept our House Bill 3 goals, which address the third grade reading and math, as well as the CCMR goals for high school. On goal two, we changed the verbiage just a little bit from partnerships with the community to address all stakeholders. So with under goal two, we have added um, our attendance initiatives within the district, specifically the strategies of having school status as our attendance tracker or the other positive incentives that we're offering to campuses. We offer, uh, we made a performance objective for staff recruitment and retention, as well as addressing the social emotional learning of our students, um, specifically the alongside app that Dr. Bowell took bulk talked about last week, the restorative discipline, um, as well as looking at adopting an SEL curriculum to use in the future. Um, goal three about safety and security, we kept all of those performance objectives the same. We felt like most of them were still applicable. We did add um, the objective of addressing using the smart tag for transportation. And you have that in front of you. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them.
item on our agenda is the consent agenda. It has our previous minute, meeting minutes, monthly check registry, and donations. So. Do have a second? Okay. I have a motion and a second to accept the consent agenda as presented. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Texas Government Code Section 551.0. 